Welcome back to my channel, Technology in the Future. Today, we're diving deep into Apple's latest tablet lineup, featuring the all-new iPad 11 and the M3 iPad Air. With some strategic upgrades and a fresh approach to Apple's tablet ecosystem, these new iPads are shaping up to be game-changers in the market. While some may argue that these updates are minor or uninspiring, Apple has made some genius moves that will further solidify its dominance in the tablet industry. In this in-depth analysis, we're going to break down all the new changes, features, and hidden details that Apple didn't tell you about. iPad 11, a budget powerhouse with smart upgrades. One of the biggest updates in Apple's latest announcement is the refreshed iPad 11. If you've been waiting for the right time to upgrade your tablet, this might be the best opportunity in years. Apple has doubled the base storage to 128 gigabytes while keeping the price at an attractive $349. This is a major value boost for consumers, making the entry-level iPad an even more compelling option for students, professionals, and casual users alike. Design and Hardware Improvements The iPad 11 now features a more refined design, keeping in line with modern aesthetics while offering improved functionality. Apple has transitioned to a USB-C port, finally retiring the outdated lightning connector. This means better compatibility with accessories, faster charging, and improved data transfer speeds. In addition, Apple has introduced a new USB-C Apple Pencil, eliminating the awkward charging method that plagued the older Lightning version. Performance and chipset changes. Under the hood, the iPad 11 is powered by the A16 Bionic chip, a significant upgrade that enhances both processing power and efficiency. While early rumors suggested that Apple might include the A17 Pro or even the upcoming A18 chip, Apple has opted for the A16, which, in many ways, is a strategic decision. However, there's an interesting twist. Apple has used a slightly modified version of the A16 chip in this iPad. Instead of the standard 6-core CPU and 5-core GPU found in the iPhone 15 Pro, Apple has implemented a 5-core CPU and 4-core GPU variant. This suggests that Apple is repurposing bin chips, ensuring that no silicon goes to waste while keeping costs down. This move is smart from a business perspective and ensures that the iPad 11 remains affordable without sacrificing too much performance. Other key enhancements. Storage options. Apple has expanded the storage configurations, now offering a maximum of 512 gigabytes, catering to users who need extra space for media, apps, and productivity. Bluetooth 5.3. This is a noteworthy addition as it enhances connectivity and ensures seamless pairing with the latest AirPods and other accessories. Camera and Smart HDR4 Apple has upgraded the image processing capabilities, but realistically, most users don't prioritize photography on an entry-level iPad. No more nano SIM slot. Cellular models of the iPad 11 will now rely entirely on eSIM technology, a shift that aligns with Apple's broader transition away from physical SIM cards. M3 iPad Air a powerful upgrade with a strategic focus. Apple's iPad Air lineup has received an important refresh with the introduction of the M3 chip. Available in both 11-inch $600 and 13-inch $800 models, the new iPad Air offers a substantial leap in performance, making it an excellent choice for users who need a balance between power and portability. Performance gains with the M3 chip. The M3 chip brings notable improvements in speed and efficiency, but Apple has made some modifications here as well. Unlike the full-fledged M3 found in MacBook Air models, the iPad Air's version features a 9-core GPU instead of the standard 10-core. This suggests that Apple is once again utilizing bin chips to optimize production costs while maintaining high performance. Despite the slight reduction in GPU cores, the M3 chip still delivers impressive computing power making the iPad Air a viable alternative to entry-level MacBooks for tasks like photo editing, video rendering, and gaming. Additionally, the inclusion of hardware-accelerated ray tracing enhances graphics performance for gaming and creative applications. Display and other enhancements. While the M3 iPad Air doesn't feature the mini-LED or OLED technology found in the high-end iPad Pro models, its liquid retina display remains vibrant and responsive. Users will still enjoy a smooth and immersive experience, especially with the larger 13-inch model, which provides extra screen real estate for multitasking. Some other notable upgrades include USB-C port. This allows for better accessory compatibility, 
including external storage and high-speed data transfer. Improved Apple Pencil Support The M3 iPad Air is compatible with Apple's latest stylus, offering better latency and responsiveness for artists and note-takers. Refined Magic Keyboard 2 Apple has introduced a new iteration of its Magic Keyboard, featuring function keys, an improved hinge mechanism, and a glass trackpad for enhanced usability. How Apple's iPad lineup now makes more sense than ever. With these updates, Apple has effectively streamlined its entire iPad lineup, making it easier for consumers to choose the right device based on their needs and budget. iPad 11, $349. The best budget-friendly iPad with a solid A16 chip and modern design. iPad mini, $499. The ideal small tablet for portability and gaming, powered by the A17 Pro chip. iPad Air, from $600 a powerful mid-range option with the M3 chip and larger screen options. iPad Pro, from $999. The ultimate premium tablet with an M4 chip and cutting-edge OLED display. This structured approach ensures that Apple's iPad offerings cater to a wide audience, from casual users to professionals. If you need the absolute best display and performance, the iPad Pro is the way to go. However, if you want a powerful device at a lower price, the iPad Air with M3 is an excellent alternative. Final thoughts, should you upgrade? If you're using an older iPad and have been waiting for the right time to upgrade, now might be the best opportunity. The new iPad 11 is an unbeatable value at $349, especially with its doubled storage and improved performance. Meanwhile, the M3 iPad Air delivers an excellent balance of power and affordability, making it a great option for students, creatives, and professionals alike. That said, if you're hoping for the M4 chip in the iPad Air, you'll have to wait longer, as Apple is reserving that upgrade for the iPad Pro lineup. However, given Apple's current release cycle, we might not see another iPad refresh until 2026, making this the best time to buy a new tablet. If you're considering an upgrade, check out the links in the description for the best deals on these new iPads, as well as discounts on other models. Also, don't forget to explore some of the best accessories, including protective cases, screen protectors, and keyboards to enhance your iPad experience. That's it for today's deep dive. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech updates. Stay tuned for more exciting Apple news and reviews right here on technology in the future. See you in the next one.